when we talk about the brain vault, the cranium, there's not a lot of things that's inside there, right? In fact, there's just three. The brain tissue itself, blood, and cerebral spinal fluid. And because the cranial vault is defined by bone that doesn't expand under normal circumstances, there's a very, very narrow window of variation between these three fluids, substances, etc. Meaning you can't just dump an extra liter of blood into the cranial vault without affecting the pressure. And you probably remember way back when you were in school talking about the Monroe Kelly theory or the Monroe Kelly doctrine, which says the vault does a really good job of accommodating increases in brain parenchymal volume, blood volume, CSF volume, without increasing the pressure inside the brain up to a very specific point. But then, as you'll see on the screen, you get to an inflection point. And once you really start increasing the volume too much inside the cranial vault, the pressure skyrockets. It doesn't just gradually go up. It takes off exponentially. And that's, again, the Monroe-Kelly Doctrine. 